Hey, what's up? This is the Impact Review featuring Kurt Angle's last match in TNA. Um, it, For anybody that's been subbed for a while, I, I want you guys to do what I'm doing. Uh, oh, shit, I don't even know how to say this, bro. I guess since it's Kurt Angle's, like, farewell episode, I guess it's fitting to say this. Uh, I don't get that many views, but... Uh, for anyone that watches or started watching or been watching for a year now, uh, cherish every moment that these videos come up because I don't know how long I'm going to do this for, especially with the things going on in my life right now. If you have me on Facebook, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, this is uh, the end of Kurt Angle Week, uh, and it's also the end of the UK tour. They will be going live next week on Tuesday, and then that's going to start a different set of tapings. <laughs> So in TNA, it opened with Angle highlights. And then the roster surrounding the ring. Angle's in the ring with Dixie Carter. And she's uh, she's crying and she's talking about how Kurt Angle joined this company 10 years ago, which he did. And, um, and I'll be doing a vid on him too. But yeah, she said that she was surprised that they kept his signing a secret when he came in. And that he's contributed so much to her company. And I agree. I think he's like the only guy that come from WWE that actually stayed. <laughs> For like a full uh, 10 year. Like I was still in high school when he when he joined. And I was like, I just started pretty much high school when he joined. But um, yeah, and then she hugs him. That he hugs her. And he thanks her for the opportunity. Drew Galloway comes in and he's like, I came here to wrestle the best. And you're the best, Kurt Angle. Thank you. And then they, they get emotional. They hug. Lashley comes out. Like his music plays. He comes out. Bobby Lashley. And he says, he thanks Kurt Angle for getting him into the business. He says it's his honor to wrestle Kurt Angle in his last match. But then he freezes and he looks at Angle like, but just by looking at you, I know that you're not ready to wrestle me. And Angle's like, what the hell? And then Lashley walks away from the ring. And then he starts clapping and he's walking away from the ring. Um, <coughs> after that, Eric Young defended his championship in a King of the Mountain match. <coughs> This was ridiculous. Uh, okay, it's a five-man match, okay? So it's Eric Young, Bram, Will O'Spray, I believe is his name. I heard they were going to sign this guy. TNA wanted to sign this guy and push him. Um, okay, um, fine. He hasn't been wrestling that long, but okay. <clears throat> and they were going to sign him and give him a push, but he signed with New Japan. <clears throat> and then we had Big Demo in the ring. Remember him? And then Jimmy Havoc, who just got his ass beat by Abyss. They didn't even have the decency to show these guys his entrance. And Eric Young actually comes out with Bram, who's an opponent in the match. What the hell? <clears throat> yeah, penalty box. You guys know the rest. Eric Young retains the title. Um. Yeah, but the King of the Mountain match, I'm surprised they're still doing it, but... I do like the match because it brings up memories. Um, and this was actually a good opener, so yeah. Um, they were showing angle memories throughout the moment, the night. Um, they showed his debut when he came out on Impact and he headbutted Samoa Joe and made him tap out. That was his debut. Like the the, the quality of the show looked so different back then. Excuse me. And Maria Canellas was backstage and she pulls Dixie Carter and says, Thank you for having me in the miracle on Impact. Why don't you help me get a leadership role on Impact? And then Dixie's like, no, because I see what you've been doing and actions speak louder than words. There was one of those cool Decay videos. Today, I am dead. And then Mike Bennett comes out to the ring with his wife. And he's like, Angle is one of the best in DNA, even though he ducked me. But he's leaving, so I'm going to take over now. Uh, give me a title shot. Give the miracle a title shot today. For the world championship. Dixie Carter, come out here and give the miracle a title shot, please. And then Drew Galloway came out like, You can't get things handed to you, you rookie punk kid. And then he's like, I want you to fight me. And he's like, No, I'm not going to fight you. You know, you you begged Angle for a rematch because you couldn't beat him the first time. Now go back and get Dixie, you Scotsman. And then uh, Galloway was like, I could do that or I could do this. Bam! And he sucker punches Bennett. And then he beats the shit out of Bennett. And then when he's going for the Claymore kick, Maria and him get out of the way. And then he's like, how dare you attack me, Galloway? And yeah. And then they had another angle moment. They showed uh, 
this was one of my favorite moments. Um, they showed him winning the King of the Mountain match for the first time at Sanniversary 2007. That is one of my favorite Kurt Angle moments because I actually ordered that pay-per-view. And this is when I was getting back into TNA. I literally got back into TNA like like pretty much right after he got signed. Um, I never hated TNA. I just wasn't able to watch it for a couple of months because of some difficulties. But um, yeah, I started watching again like right when he joined and got his push. Um, and that pay-per-view, I saw, I saw like the buildup for that show. The show was an hour long and it still was... It, the buildup was so incredible that I had to buy it. Um, and the card was stacked. They build up like maybe 10, 12 matches on a one-hour show every week. And it was fucking awesome. Um, the buildup was incredible. Like, it was built, built up better than any WrestleMania. And Angle won the King of the Mountain and he got the title. Um, I was surprised. I thought that uh, somebody else was going to win it, but he won it, which was cool. He was a good pick. He got overlooked and he won it. That was our first DNA championship, too. After they made it TNA instead of NWA. <clears throat> and then the Wolves were backstage. They thanked Kurt Angle for uh, for everything. And they said, you're going to see this match, Kurt. You wanted to see this tag team match, you're going to see it. And Kurt's like, I'm looking forward to it. And Davey Richards, I'm going to teach you how to use the ankle lock when you're done. Um, I don't think he's going to be able to, though, because Davey's like, really banged up right now. Um, and then we had uh, Jade versus... Uh, Gail Kim. This is really cool. I saw an article. I don't know if it's from DNA or somebody else, but it's called Jade's Journey. Or uh, it's called Jade's Journey to the Impact Zone. It's about Jade getting pushed, you know? And she got a shot at Gail Kim. But Gail Kim won. But it was still a good match, though. I recommend it. Um, It's better than any NXT Divas match. And we find out that Ethan Carter's got a match at... Uh, Impact next week against Matt Hardy for the title. Spud is like, you know, I got beat by Carter, but he went crying to his aunt, and now he's got a title shot. Um, I'm just gonna say this now. Uh, EC3 is winning the championship. Um, this is this is a live episode of Impact. You know, Matt's doing. I I I think he's doing okay as champion. I I understand why people don't like it though, but I think he's doing okay. But it's a live Impact. I think a swerve's gonna happen. Ethan Carter's winning, and he's going to be like the face of TNA. We knew it was coming, so let's not pretend to be shocked by it. And what's funny about that is Spud was tweeting that. Matt Hardy said the same thing. He's like, Carter went crying to his own team, but I'm going to be the champion. I'm going to be champion. And then we had the Wolves versus Beer Money. Um, These are the two greatest tag teams in TNA right now, even though my current favorite tag team is a Decay, but I can't take away the fact that... uh. These two are the best. Um, and these two went out there and tore the fucking house down. And I think they may have done it too much because Davy Richards did get banged up. He fell the hell off the fucking top rope. He's injured. He's banged up. Um, and the thing is, when Beer Money did win the championship because they won, it was a great way to close the night. But the moment that they won, like I was watching with my brother. He was marking out. I was trying to get the marking out out of me, but... I was, like, watching Davey. I'm like, yo, he's banged up. And then, like, Beer Money has the belts high in the sky. Like, uh, the Wolves, uh, Edwards, and, like, some referees, some trainers, they came down, and they're picking up Richards, and they're, like, taking him. He really got banged up. And I heard he's going to be gone for a while, so Eddie Edwards is a solo guy. So, uh, this could be the end of the Wolves for a while. But Beer Money is attacking champions, and that's awesome. I watched them years ago, too, as well. Um, they formed and they were one of the greatest tag teams of TNA history. I think they're a little bit better than AMW, too. Bear money! <laughs> and then they showed the final Kurt Angle memory when he got inducted before Bound for Glory 2013 for the TNA Hall of Fame. Like his, his ceremony, his speech, and everything, it was really good. And then backstage, Galloway is uh, backstage. And then Lashley goes, You heard what you said to Angle? And after I get done with him, you're going to be next, Galloway. Um, <clears throat> we then got, this was really cool. Um, like a whole thing of uh, Twitter followers of TNA sending tweets and videos thanking Kurt Angle for everything he's given them. Um, I did send, I did send a couple of tweets um, I, th as well. Um, I sent one last week, like during March, and then I sent one yesterday. Um, uh, 
Yeah, and um, I think yeah, it was two of them, and one of them had a picture on it. Um, and then Angle was backstage again, and Mike Bennett said, "I wanted to be the one to beat you, Kurt, but it's going to be Lashley, not me. But if you ever want to fight, I'll be right here waiting." And then Angle was like, "If I ever come back, I'm going to break your neck, Punk. It's going to get damn real." Um, I don't know why Kurt Angle couldn't just have like a two minute squash match with Mike Bennett and bury his ass. I mean. I'm all for young guns getting built up. Like, EC3's push was awesome. Bobby Roode's rise to the top was awesome. Um, people like that, like guys like that, I look like Magnus. I look forward to things like that. Mike Bennon has no future. Look at the man. The man has a fucking gut. He's got stupid samurai hair. Um, he's got fuck His attire is just... Ugh, it's terrible. Chad Gable has better attire. Uh, Maria has potential when it comes to a woman. I just don't know if she can wrestle that well. But my my, this guy has no future. This was like the weakest guy in the kingdom. I mean, they should have got Adam Cole. That's a real motherfucking wrestler. You know, I would have taken uh, what's that guy's name, Matt Taven. At least he had a thing going with the hoopla thing. But um, yeah, he's gay. Mike Bennett is, and he's terrible. A uh, stupid thing happens. Grado comes out and he says, "It's time for me to reveal why I got screwed." And then uh. Eli Drake comes out with a topless uh, Jesse Goddard and said, Eli Drake, let me talk to you, dummy. Your fat butt got fired. We're in shape and you're not. And now we're going to kick you out of the building, tubby. So then they get in the ring. Uh, they beat the crap out of Grado. Shira comes out. One of the fucking steroid guys hits Shira in the back. And Shira literally sells it like he got shot in the spine. He's like... And he like throws himself out of the ring. It looked cheesy. And then Grado fights back. He takes out the guys. For some reason, Grado takes Eli Drake's King of the Mountain briefcase. And he's like... And then he runs to the back with it. I don't know what, why this happened or what it's going to lead to. But yeah, that happened. <clears throat> Main event happened after that. Back to action. Um, Bobby Lashley versus Kurt Angle. Ang Bobby Lashley was walking to the ring. And he's slapping hands with fans. I don't know what's going on with him. Ever since that girl Raquel debut, he's been acting weird and shit. <clears throat> like a tweener. And Angle was jogging, and he comes out. Uh, this match, I, it wasn't a bad match. I mean, I thought Angle could have went out better, but then again, these guys are not really in their prime anymore. Um, I hate fucking Bobby Lashley's spear. He it, he looks so stupid. Like, Roman Reigns and Charlotte and Goldberg, they know how to spear guys. Even Crimson. Lashley, when he spears somebody, he, like, flies. Like It's like he spears them, and he, hits, he only hits his arm, and then he, like, moves out of the way. It looks stupid. Um, Lashley should just do the Dominator, or, or that, that fucking pop spine buster, yeah, the Dominator, um, <clears throat> good match, um, Angle kept trying to, he, Lashley kept countering, like, Angle was trying to charge at him, and Lashley, like, moves out the way, the man hits three spears, and he pins Kurt Angle, you know, Angle, everybody goes on, out on their back, right, and he's hugging Angle, he's crying, and he's going like that, and then he just, clotheslines Kurt and punches him and knocks him out. And he just starts beating the shit out of Kurt Angle. Oh, uh, what a shitty way to go out. I mean, I didn't think it could get worse than uh, the way they got rid of Sting and Styles. But holy shit, this took it to a whole other level, brother. It just lastly, very poorly beating the crap out of Angle. The Angle and Crowd is booing his black ass. And then, um, was it Galloway? Galloway came out, you motherfucker, you son of a bitch. And then he spears Galloway. Spears him because he does that stupid thing again. And then Eddie Edwards, who's a solo guy now, is like, yo, what's going on, man? And he spears Eddie Edwards. And he does that stupid thing again. Just do a clothesline, bro. Whatever, man. And then EC3 comes out. Trouble, trouble, trouble. And he's just like this. And then at last he's like... <laughs> And Lash is walking away. Pope and Josh Matthews are losing their minds and shit. And then Angle's down and shit. The show ends with Angle down. <laughs> Bobby Lashley doing an evil laugh and storming to the back. And then Carter in his underwear just sitting there like this. Just looking at him like, mm-mm. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know what the... DNA, just release people because when you send people out, you, you, you make it look so terrible. <laughs> But yeah, hashtag thank you, Kurt. Um, Angle was one of a kind. He's the best wrestler in the world that ever existed. And thank you, Kurt. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.